Today I want to teach you a few amazing foot massage moves that you can give. It's going to use some shea butter. It's so rich, it's so delightful, it's so relaxing, and it is coming right up. Hey there, this is Shai. I'm the founder of the Still Light Center School of Tayoga Massage. I hope you're having an incredible day. It's about to get that much better because you're going to learn some amazing techniques for giving a foot massage that is a little bit different from a typical Tayoga massage because uh, you know, we get to use some shea butter. We get to use some kind of lubricant on the feet which allows a whole other rich and enriching way of giving the massage. And just before I show you this, I do want to invite you and ask you, please don't forget subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click on the bell so they get notifications every week when I post a new video. All right, so yes, typically in the Thai yoga massage, we call it a dry massage where you don't use any oils, you don't use anything to help sink in to the muscles and sink into the skin and do all that. And you know, one of the reasons is because, you know, in a full massage, the person's got their clothes on and you don't want your hands to uh, be too greasy where things are just kind of slipping. You certainly don't want to put any thing on their clothes, so it's more often than not done in a dry way. However, when we do Thai foot massage in this kind of way, oh my gosh, it is so luxurious and it feels so good and it's just such an amazing way to connect with those feet, those the earth and that and when you when you sink in there with your hands. And so if you're new to giving a, a Thai massage with this kind of you know with shea butter or something similar, I'm just gonna encourage you to just kind of uh, jump right in. You know, it's sort of like when you're baking bread and you're making dough and then you're putting your hands in the dough and you're squeezing the dough and you're feeling just how alive and how good that feels. Well, it's very similar when you do it this way. So, you know, what is shea butter? Shea butter is just the product that I like to use. You can usually get it quite easily just about anywhere. You don't have to use shea butter, but I would use something that when you when you uh, apply it to their skin, it doesn't leave things feeling too greasy, too slippery, or too oily. But if you just have a towel nearby, if you need to pat things down a little bit just to get the right feeling so it's not too slippery, it's not too greasy, you know, that's my one uh, recommendation for you. And then the other thing is, you know, how you do this comfortably. So when we give a Thai massage, we really want to use our whole body to help give that massage. You got to make sure that it comes from the core. And you know, there's a tendency when you give a foot massage that you can almost lull yourself uh, so that you're really focused and just using your hands because you're sitting, you're stationary, you're in one place. So it's super important to remind yourself to rock, to really make sure everything comes from your core every movement and so when you want to apply pressure you rock forward to allow your hands to sink in rock back to relax to let your hands rest for a moment and kind of create that rhythm and then rock forward again and that momentum of rocking in is how you apply the pressure and this takes pressure off your hands and make sure that you get to use your whole body while you give this massage that being said i've got four moves right now that i want to show you so that you can give a lovely sweet and quick foot massage. So check this out. Your shea butter, you're gonna wanna soften it and warm it up in your own hands first. And then start to put it on their feet and on their legs. You can take it all the way up to the calf and up the shin. So let's start with cutting a groove. We're going to lean in and let our thumbs just float right up the feet. And again, just how important it is that as you rock forward, your thumbs are coming up. And then as you rock back, relax your thumbs. So use your rocking motion to help guide and support your thumbs and your hands. And then from here, we'll do the planter spread. Same idea that as you rock forward, your thumbs come together to help you sink in. And as you rock back, give your thumbs and your hands a break as you maintain contact with that foot. And let's do the knuckle slide. So make a nice soft fist. 
your fist is going in one direction across the middle of the foot, and you're going to pull the foot across to the other side. Now, if you wanted to support your arm, you could even bring your leg up on the table, like we do on the mat, to stabilize your fist, and then it's just the hand that's directing the foot to go back and forth across the knuckles. And then fist glide. And rock forward. Allow your knuckles to sink in. And as you rock back, you can come back to the beginning, but really ease up your pressure. Don't overdo it. I hope you like that, and I hope you practice it. If you want to extend that, all you got to do is just, after you've done the, both feet, go back to the first foot and do it a little bit more. Go back to the second foot and do it again, and then give it sweeps. Just give that their feet long, luxurious sweeps, and then also just keep checking out the playlist here. We've got a whole list of time massage moves that you can do for the feet, so you can keep building and extending upon it and extending upon it, and just keep checking also for more videos because I'm planning to show even more stuff that you can do once the foot has the shea butter on it, and then you can keep kind of building off of what we did here. So yes, if you didn't, do it yet, now's the time. Subscribe to the channel and click on the bell so that you get those notifications. Also, you can check out our website, stilllightcenter.com. You can check out the online courses and the in-person courses that we teach so that you can go deeper with your practice. I want to wish you amazing massages and we will see you soon. Namaste.